Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Britt, creator of The Style Shaker. We're going to Green and Clean Beauty, and today I am putting on some of my favorite green beauty products for a get ready with me and a full face of green beauty for spring. So I'm featuring some new products, some old products, using products in ways that you're not supposed to be using them, which is like my favorite thing to do. Pretty much it. Let's get into it. Heads up, if you're going from toxic to non-toxic and have no clue where to start, Check out my free green beauty guide back on the website. It's the one pager I wish I had when I first started out. In the meantime, don't forget to like this video and make sure you subscribe so you never miss another one. Got all the goodies lined up in front of me and I'm going to apply per the huge. That's what we do, you and me. To begin, I've already done brows. I did the plume, brow pomade, which is pretty much my go-to right now, and the Eye of Oris pencil. I also have the Jane Iredale Beauty Prep on. Hey, hello! <laughs> use a concealer blush today brush today not a concealer blush that would be a weird item to sell so I'm gonna go in with the hint duet perfecting concealer feels like a hint kind of day and voila that looks creepy it's so smooth it's so silky it's one of my favorites for a reason Sing it in with the finger you really don't need a lot it goes on so nicely it just soaks right in okay I also prime the lid with this so this just evens out the canvas and it makes the shadow ply so much easier. Easier? That's not a word. Makes the application of the shadow way better. There's one eye. Okay, let's do the other eye, shall we? Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay, concealed. Mm -mm -mm. I am going to on the 100% pure BB cream. I have this in luminous. It's uh, it's a surprising one because it's a little bit thicker than what I normally use and feels tacky at first. So yeah, it's like thick and you're like, no, this isn't gonna work. This isn't gonna work. And then lo and behold, it works. Definitely need a little bit of moisturization underneath. Always helpful. And I like using this. Did not put on a primer today. Probably would have been nice too, but this can kind of act as a primer as well. Does not totally even things out, but it does give you this luminous glow. It does exactly what the shade says it's gonna do. I don't like to put too much of this on the forehead. Anything with any type of sheen on the forehead just exacerbates or like brings focus to fine lines there. So I don't want to do that. I'm just going to keep it to the cheeks. And what feels really tacky at first soaks in for my skin, combo skin, pretty quickly. So it's not like I'm touching it and it feels like... I don't know what that means, but you know what I mean. It's not as light and airy. It is a little bit thicker and more viscous. Viscous, but... I really like it. I'm really liking it for spring. I am going to just finish evening things out a little bit with the Uncover Up from RMS. I'm going in with a concealer blush. Why do I keep saying blush when I mean brush? <laughs> good times. It's weekend, Brittany. She doesn't think well. Or use her words. Good. This is also a multi-purpose item that I love. You guys have heard me talk about it. It melts into the skin. It covers things up. It just works for me. Just simply works. Evening out just the bridge of the nose a little bit. It's nice too because it's not a heavy layer of foundation necessarily, but on days when you just want to even it out a bit. I'm probably using more than I would normally use right now just because I'm like having fun and talking to you, but it's just very nice, lightweight, medium ish like to medium coverage and it, i don't know it's kind of like a little magic tub of goodness i've talked about a million times and you've heard me already talk about it ad nauseum i never really get tired of it like right here i don't know what this is it's a little bit of a redness moment that goes on top and it blends so well you can't see it sitting on top and looking like you're trying to cover something up that's why i love this that's one of the main reasons why i love this rms uncover all right looking good looking good looking good I'm gonna do a light dusting probably don't really even need it but i'm really vibing with the jane iredale powder foundation is sort of the finishing touch for me really Barely touching pan right now as in like barely touching the powder. So I don't have a lot on this brush and I use a Sigma F20 large powder brush sort of just even light layer 
you're done. It's a little bit more sheer than some other foundations that I've tried. It's supposed to be, it's like a semi-matte, slightly less medium coverage or slightly more sheer coverage. And the brand talks about that on the website, but I will provide a bigger review for that. Now I'm gonna use the RMS. Whoa, you really don't need that much. Like I barely, barely put any in here. To fully set the concealer under the eye. This is to prevent that sort of midday sheen that could happen sometimes. It looks like you know, it doesn't look like you're melting, but it's just that under eye sheen and I find it looks, you know, midday wear. This prevents touch-ups midday. This prevents creasing midday. I have a number of setting or translucent setting powders that I've tried and reviewed on the channel and I've liked a lot of them. This one is just in front of me and it's a really solid contender. I can put the cap on. Oh my God. Okay, so everything is set, everything's doing its thing. I know you guys are probably like, where's your SPF? It's summer. I'm getting there. Oh, oh, girl, I'm getting there. Give me a minute, okay? Okay, I'm going to apply eyeliner. I am using the Antonym Steel Pencil. It's not black, it is gray, and I really like this color. It is a little less severe than a black, but I've tried a bunch of eyeliners. Some of them just run down the face. This does not do that. It holds up really well. Setting the lid helps, like we've already done here. It's just a nice gray color. I don't know, it just works. Just I keep saying that, I'm like, it just works. I just like it. You can go with outliner, do a number of different things. And there's the other eye. Easy peasy. You just sort of wing it out a little bit. If I want more drama, I'll just create a larger width line. I don't really need that. Sometimes you can smudge it out to soften it a little bit. Also pretty fun to do. I'm not putting any underneath right now. That's the liner. Now I'm going in. You would think I'd be using eyeshadow here, but I'm not. I'm going to use the RMS Luminizing Powder in Midier Bronze. I'm going to use that as an eyeshadow. I believe in using products uh, alternatively to how they are stated to be used. So like, why does this only have to be a bronzer, right? Can it also be an eyeshadow? Yes. I feel like we get so sold into this process of eyeliner, brow pencil. I have so many times, you guys, I've used an eyeliner as a brow pencil and a brow pencil as an eyeliner because most of the time, I really don't see a huge difference. There's a difference in a pomade, of course, but a brow pomade, like the plume brow pomade, would not want to use that as an eyeliner, but you know what? I probably totally could. Now that I'm saying this out loud, I totally could. I might give that a try next time. Just a real fan of going against what they tell you to do in my own small, tiny, rebellious moments. It just, it makes me feel better. Just like to look at things and go, okay, well, I know it's supposed to be that, but, and I know I'm not alone in this. I know there are a lot of others out there doing this and I appreciate it because I learned from you guys. You were very helpful to me, so that's all I have to say about that. There's just a whole lot of love. There's a whole lot of love. I'm going in to use this as a bronzer. One of my new all-time favorite bronzers. Low, little bit goes a long way. Happy more bronze just sort of i don't contour there's so many different ways to do this but this is really an everyday makeup look so it's not like i'm gonna be on 5k television or like i'm shooting a music video or i'm hitting the red carpet that's next week today just chill just chill I used to watch makeup artists and they would just be so light, you know, effortless with their application. Sometimes it would get very specific and they would be making a hard line on an, on an eye or whatever the case may be. But I find that I take a lot of cues from makeup artists that I see out there because I used to be so heavy handed with this stuff. I mean, God, back in college specifically. Now I've seen the benefit of just lightly applying things. For instance, the plume pomade. I first got this and I have was with this great pencil with an angled brush and then a spoolie. I was like taking it on and digging it in and really getting it all over. And you don't need to do that. You can just take such a small amount here, press it, kind of guide the brow line. And then the spoolie acts as not only kind of making your brow hairs go in place, but it takes product and it extends it above a little bit into the brow in a really natural way. And I'm like, why have I been why have I been pushing so hard? I feel like I've just forced it for so many years and the more I apply makeup, if everybody here, the more I learn that a lighter touch and fewer products totally creates the effect that I like. So less is more. Try less. That's just a tangent. I'm gonna go in with some mascara to really 
I'm going to use the Inica Bold Lash. This is a current favorite of mine. I do not need primer, and you guys know I love using primer, but I'm not using it right now. Okay, I'm not, I'm just not. Don't judge me, just kidding. I'm on YouTube, it happens. Going in, nice little coat on those lashes. So happy. Hey world, I'm Brittany's lashes. I'm alive. Other side. For mascara, I find that the wiggle really works. You know, you go in and you're like, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I'll do one coat with a quick wiggle, send it the length of the lash, do that on the other side, and then I'll just keep doing that until I feel like enough has happened, you know? And then from there, I just sort of use the edge. I separate, I add like a lot more mascara if need be. We did it here, so if I add too much, I just brush it through again. It just takes a couple of coats. I probably do three applications, but they're not technical, I'm just, adding a little bit more and using the brush in a little bit of a different way than I do the first couple of times. So like right at the ends, lengthens the ends of the eyes, which I find to be very flattering. I haven't noticed, I love a good cat eye. Boom. On, yes. And since I never do it, but I feel like I want to, I'm gonna do a little bit on the lower lash line. Very little, just enough. Sort of kissing the lower lashes, the wand, easy. Don't really need a lot there. It has just a subtle effect. Slight drama, slight drama. It's Sunday. We don't want full drama on a Sunday. You know what I mean? All right, now I'm going to really just finish it up quickly with the 100% pure blush. You guys know I'm obsessed with this. I'll put too much on because this puppy is pigmented. I'll give you the flush. It is a more springtime look. I do have a bright pink headband on. It's like a nod to all things pink. I do like cool tones as well. I mean, this is actually a cooler toned blush if you're looking for it. I happen to love it for that. And the bronzer is a little warmer tone, but I'd say if you're looking for a cooler toned bronzer, and I've talked about this in a previous video, the Well People Loose Bio Bronzer, really great option. I'm so tempted to put this on my eyes for eyeshadow. But I'm not because I feel like I've done that in every video and I want to change it up. So now I'm just going to complete it with a little lip and I'm actually using a red. I'm using the RMS Lipstick in Rebound. It's one of my all-time favorite red lipsticks. It just is something that I have on hand and I use for dramatic moments, but I'm not going to apply it heavily. I already have a little bit of a light balm on and I'm just going to put a little bit on my finger. Hello. And then I'm just going to dab it. Smush. Dab. Smush and dab. Dab and smush. Smush and dab. There you go, a nice little layer, flush of red, if you will. I am going to use the Vapor Foundation Stick in a way that I know it's not supposed to be used technically, but it could be used. And I'm gonna apply it to the Cupid's bow. Would have done this before I applied the lip color, but I forgot. Uh, yeah, it just does something. It gives a little bit more fullness. It's a very light touch. You don't wanna look like you're on a milk ad, you know, like the Got Milk ad. Not that. We are not going for that. Just like a little tip on the nose. Little tip of the nose action. I love this stuff. I've enjoyed pretty much everything I've tried from Vapor. It's really a remarkable brand. I don't say that lightly. Okay, I've tried a lot of different things from a lot of different companies and I don't know if I've ever really disliked anything from Vapor here, so just saying it and I think the final final touch well there's one more after this which is kind of a fun trick I'm going to take the RMS lip shine this is in sacred I'm going to pop it this is where I play I love combining lip color it's so subtle I just really like it <laughs> It just adds a little bit more coral to that color and it gives me exactly what I'm looking for. It's a good combination. I'm not gonna line the lips. I almost am creating a little bit of an ombre with the Cupid's Bow Mild Highlight. And if I really wanted to amp this up, I would do a little bit of highlighter. I could use the RMS Luminizing Powder in Midnight Hour, but I don't really need it because of the BB cream. There is this like luminescence thing happening. The ring light's helping. But now, since I'm going outside, I'm going to take the 100% percent pure SPF 30, 30 SPF 30 yerba mate mist and I'm going to spray this mo on my face so here we go excuse Oof. Mm. you guys it's 
kind of the perfect setting spray. And it provides SPF coverage. I don't have to worry about it in the products, even though I think Jane Iredo has SPF. Now I got everywhere. I got everywhere. Yeah, that's it. This is the look. Everyday natural spring, 100% great and clean beauty. And for those of you that have stuck around and watched this entire video, I just wanna give you a little, little hint at the end, a little reminder, because some people don't know about them. Some people aren't clicking on the links, but I like to do a lot of get ready with me's. I like to do full face of a brand, yada, yada, yada. And then the in-depth reviews I save for primarily foundations or trendy products or higher price point products. You're gonna wanna know detail on. So one of those is the Aether Beauty eyeshadow palette. I just featured it in an unboxing video. And a lot of you are saying that you can't wait for the review. Well, the review is totally up on the Lookup blog. I will put a link below to that so you can access it. It is the Style Shaker Scorecard review, the one that I do in the video, but it's a quick glimpse, all the details. I talk about any ingredients that are called out because a lot of these products you can't find on EWG or they're old or you can't find them on Think Dirty. So I'm creating another resource for you that's hopefully really, really helpful. So it is on the Lookup. Up. I'm gonna have more and more going live there every day as fast as my little fingers can type and I just wanted to let you guys know because if you're a subscriber you have access to that you should check it out it could be very helpful for you I hope okay I think I'm gonna leave the headband on I'm gonna leave the headband on and there you have it it's done you finished it's very bronzed it's very warm I have a pink headband on you can see that I just wanted to see the obvious and I'm fully SPF would up with my little SPF 30 situation all over the place all over this area here just right here, just right here. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed it. I cannot wait until I get to hang out with you again for another review. Get ready with me, I don't know. Until then, go out there, have some fun, and play with some green beauty while you're at it. Why not, right?